Hello everyone and welcome to the 7th episode of Coherent Coder. In this episode, we are going to learn about keywords and control statements in C language. So, let's roll that intro. In C language, we have something called as keywords. Keywords are special words which have special functionality, which have special meaning and uh, with which you can perform specific actions. For example, you might see some data types in this such as int, long, char, etc. So these are also called as keywords and if you remember these allow you to declare variables which hold a specific type of data right so keywords are just that in c language we have 32 keywords and these keywords are special because you cannot name a variable with the same name as the keyword for example you cannot say int auto because it will think that when you say auto you mean the auto keyword and not the variable name auto okay so so this is one reason why you need to know all the keywords but this is not mandatory as most compilers nowadays have uh, autocorrect functionalities which will immediately tell you where the issue is okay so you just need to understand what keywords are but you do not need to learn each and every keyword out of this okay so now let's move on to control statements so you can think of control statements as statements which allow you to control the flow of a program so if you know whenever a compiler executes a program it always goes from top to bottom right you cannot make it uh, jump wherever you want normally so but you have some statements which allow you to control the flow of the program and these statements are called as control statements these statements either allow you to go to go back uh, to a specific point or they allow you to skip a particular code and these are the most important type of statements that you need to learn because you will be using these statements a lot when you work professionally okay so under control statements we have multiple different statements first we have if statements then we have looping statements then switch statement then conditional operator statement and then go to statement we will look at each of them individually but since this is going to be a lot of information to learn all of this in one go what i will do is i will make this video in multiple parts in each of these parts I will include one control statement so that you can focus on one thing okay thank you everyone for watching this video i hope you understood everything that i taught you in this video if you have any questions then please post it in the comments and i will surely reply you thank you and happy coding